Hey guys, how's it going? So today I have another video in continuation of our EDC or CCW series. Don't worry, this is not for CCW or EDC. This is more of a tack belt setup for the range, for a class, uh, if you have to scale up uh, for uh, security reasons, for any reason, um, from your uh, normal CCW uh, everyday carry of, uh, you know, knife, multi-tool, pepper spray, uh, firearm and reload, uh, where, when legal, um, flashlight, you know, medical, uh, comms like I, I, you know your iphone your windows whatever you whatever you guys are running um you know keys wallet phone all that stuff a phone like i said before um all that stuff you have if there's a reason to scale up from that i .e. you're going to a primary firearm uh so meaning 556 five, in this case and then you have your second nine millimeter uh by the way everything has been safety checked so there's no live ammo anywhere here um so primarily i want to talk about the you guys have seen the bravo holster uh, OW, this is a BCA outside the waistband and the magazine carrier. I want to talk about the bulk of the belt, which is, um, and then I just got a tourniquet here, uh, Ranger banded. So, you know, your medical and then everything else you can carry in pockets and whatever. Um, I want to talk about the Black Arch AR mag carrier and the Black Arch pistol mag carrier and Black Arch, Black Arch holsters. Uh, they do have, I think a holiday sale going on as well. So go check them out. Um, a little bit about them. They're from Utah. They're known as, they're formerly known as H. SHTF uh, holster makers. They make they make probably one of the most comfortable hybrid holsters with breathable material. They have kydex around the trigger guard for complete kydex retention with hybrid comfort. Uh, they have a large support for a lot of pistols. I don't have any of their holsters, but I've read a lot a lot of uh, Reddit posts and watched a lot of reviews from people who swear by them. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about the just move the belt off to the side and talk about the uh, mag carriers. Now, they're actually pretty tight on, which is good. We've got the pistol mag carrier, and we've got the AR mag carrier. So the belt you guys just saw was a relentless tactical 1.5 inch leather belt. The clips that they use are 1.5 inch clips. Let's talk about the uh, pistol mag carrier first. So first of all, fit and finish is really, really nice. No sharp edges at all. You know, uh, perfect manufacturing, a nice, strong, sturdy clip. You've got adjustable retention through here. Here's a little Allen key for that. Uh, build is very nice. Easy to insert. Again, you're going to go, if you're right-handed, you're going rounds facing forward. Tension is really, really good. Not coming out. Um, easy to grasp. You have this nice index line for you to put your finger on for a consistent draw every single time. Um, so it's actually able to support also single mags just by virtue of the retention device over here. But I don't have any single uh, I don't, this is just double stack. I don't have any single stacks to show you guys. Um, they also are expanding the line of pistols that they're supporting. So by the way, you can also have this for right-handed, left-handed, uh, reversible. Uh, I believe you can probably swap the, out these clips for any other type of uh, attachment methods. And they're currently in the process of expanding the pistols that they support. I mean, right now they have Smith & Wesson on board, Sig, Springfield, Walther, Ruger LC9, HK VP9. Uh, Glock, obviously, FN 509, uh, and I think CZ also, and they're also, they also say on their website, if you don't see a, a mag carrier uh, for your pistol, uh, reach out to them and maybe they have it in the works. Um, so this is a really nice option, uh, pretty slim, so you can easily hide this under a cover garment, and I think this is one of the good ways to carry a spare magazine. You know, if you're ready taking the trouble to carry a gun, you should probably carry a spare magazine as well. And whether it's for malfunctions or you never know how many rounds you're going to need. So it doesn't hurt to carry it, even though, um, I mean, in my case, 10 round, if I'm able to carry it all, uh, obviously concealed carry is highly regulated in New York State. But if in the uh, occasion or in terms of the kind of pr uh, licenses that there are out there for New York State uh, citizens, uh, we get the chance to carry. Uh, we're already limited to 10 rounds, so it makes sense to carry a spare magazine. So this is the AR mag carrier, uh, you know, obviously New York State, 10 round magazine. Still, I just want to show you guys that 10 round mags do fit. So this lip is low enough that you're still able to put a, a 10 round magazine on and you can still grip it. Uh, retention is also adjustable with these screws. And for those people who are in New York state, you can probably also double tape another 10 round magazine. So you have rounds this way, rounds that way. That gives you a little bit more room to index out of. Fit and finish is really nice. Again, smooth, no uh, machining issues or anything else. Um, just a really nice piece of work. Um, same with the Mac carrier, just beautiful. 
you've got your RevCon clips. These clips are the new clips that uh, Black Arch is using for all their holsters, and they're just really nice, sturdy. You see this little uh, raised portion of the clip, which does a good job of grabbing on your belt. Again, have a good gun belt, but this certainly helps to have a good clip as well. And fully ambidextrous, so you can put it on either side of your body. Again, you're, uh, for AR mag, you're going to have your rounds facing backwards, so you can grab it and index it into the firearm. Um, 0 0.8, material, 0 .8 uh, inches uh, thickness, standard kydex thickness, and you can also put in your rounds backwards or forwards, ambidextrous, doesn't matter. Uh, you've got the 1.5 inch belt clip, which is standard, and you're compatible with all the leading mounting systems, so Safari Land, ELS, Blade Tech, Tech Lock, the G-Codes, uh, Malice Clip, Molly, uh, and OWB loops. Uh, if you have a 0.5, the, the spacing is 0 .5 in, 0.75 inches, so if you want to put it outside the waistband loop as well. And it's compatible with most magazines. I have PMAGs only here, but the website says that they're compatible with Magpul, Lancer, and USGI. So these are just some kind of accessories you can add on your tack belt, uh, on a uh, range belt as well. So, you know, no need to go full out with a chest rig and plate carriers and all that stuff. You know, keep a little profile. Um, I'm going to link to a really, really good article by uh, the Everyday Marksman. And he's a blog I've been following for a while. Really thoughtful guy. Uh, a lot of insightful articles and covering a whole wide range of topics. So check him out there on the article about just neighborhood preparedness in general, things like that, uh, what kind of posture you want to put on it, it, when you're, you know, when law enforcement's not able to cover your area anymore, or God forbid things are going down the drain. Um, so, you know, these are kind of items that you want to, uh, gear that you want to have on your belt with you. You don't want to raise alarm, but you also want to have access to uh, life-saving tools if you need them. So give them a look, Black Arch Holsters, again, known for their holsters, uh, but they make terrific mag carriers as well as you guys see here. And leave a comment, questions. Uh, I want to thank Black Arch for sending us these to try out to review. Really appreciate it and really appreciate all the support we've been getting. So any comments or questions, leave them below. Please hit that subscribe button. It really helps my channel grow. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.